right, welcome back. Good morning, Artesia. It is, uh, is it Tuesday? It's Tuesday. Tuesday. It's already the 15th. I know it. Did you have a fun Valentine's yesterday? <laughs> We've all been kind of sick. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so we ate chocolate and yeah. coughed. <laughs> nice. Nice. Well, you know, as long as you're together. <laughs> oh my so no gosh. romantic dinners last night no <laughs> we ate soup <laughs> which is good soup yeah it was soup good is soup good yeah nothing wrong with soup uh saturday we went down and got pancakes from the carlsbad rotary club oh cool those are pretty good oh they had like a pancake breakfast they had their pancake breakfast on saturday nice so i drove down in the snow <laughs> oh yeah which is weird. That was random. Like uh, yeah. 70 degrees the day before and then snowing at 7 a.m. the next morning. And then it was 70 degrees the next day. And then, yeah. It just... Uh, the, no wonder people are sick, Gene. I know. This is crazy. It's, uh, it's what it is. Um, so, yeah. No, that, that... And we didn't... So, we didn't even watch the Super Bowl. Did you watch the Super Bowl? Uh-huh. Yep. Yeah. We did. We didn't do any... I mean, didn't have a party or anything. So, just us just actually watched the game which yeah. is interesting yeah um <laughs> which is kind of weird we, yeah we went up watching the commercials did you what was yes. your favorite commercial i didn't see it i have not seen a single super oh, bowl commercial so. man well okay one theme i saw throughout mm -hmm. was a lot of people had hired or whatever i don't know um famous people okay like actors and singers and athletes and it was just like a lot of the what you see the people and you're like oh yeah the commercial with peyton manning in it okay and serena williams but what was it really for yeah i have no idea okay but it was famous people everywhere yeah it was weird um a lot of people one of my work. favorites <laughs> i know right I'm sorry <laughs> they had the cable guy okay larry the cable guy uh-huh the actual larry the cable guy. it was J jim carrey yes oh no 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 not larry the cable guy i'm sorry it was Jim, Jim Carrey, Carrey who, who played was in a movie called The Cable Guy. The cable guy. Yes. Okay. Got that it. one was cute because um, it was about, like, I think it was Verizon's new internet thing. Okay. Like a little cube deal. I've seen some of that. Something, been, I think it was Verizon. It had a V on it. Anyway. It's 5G home internet. Yes. Okay. That's what that was for. And so it was interesting because he was playing The Cable Guy. Um, <laughs> one of my favorites, though, was the Disney commercial with okay. goats. And I, with goats. in fact... Text Haley and I'm like, please tell me you're watching the Super Bowl. She's like, I'm not right now. I'm like, dang it, this coolest commercial. I have to find it and send it to her. What was it for? So, um, you know, the goat is greatest of all time, okay. right? Okay. Okay. Right. The, the acronym. Well, they took that to a whole different level because they wanted to say they have the greatest shows on Disney Plus. Disney Plus. Okay. So they had goats <laughs> dressed up like. The Lion King and Star Wars okay. and gotcha. all their movies. Gotcha. And, uh, you know, funny actress who was in one of her recent movies was Ocean's 8. Um, funny, funny girl. And she's walking through, oh, there's this goat and there's this goat. And the whole, I mean, the whole place in the, they were like at Disney Studios or whatever. Mm -hmm. They were all dressed up. And I just thought that was cute because okay. they kind of played on greatest of all time. Gotcha. Yes. I, I watched it. I haven't seen... I, I don't have the Disney Plus. I got mad because of the Gina Carano thing, mm. and I have. But I thought about maybe getting it back because of the Book of Boba Fett. Okay. But I watched the Critical Drinkers review of the Book of Boba Fett, and now I'm glad that I did not renew my subscription to watch it. He was not very pleased hmm. with the Book of Boba Fett. I did not get into the Star Wars. Yeah. So yeah. I did not get into Book Book of Boba Fett. Which is kind of disappointing because everybody loved the Mandalorian. Right. And they can't wait for the Mandalorian to come back yeah. next year. And they thought, okay, well, in between, we'll have Boba a book, Fett. Of, book of Boba Fett. But uh, the hmm. critical drinker was very critical. Interesting. And he drank. Well. You know. <laughs> liquid courage to liquid say courage. it's the me. We, say the we watched the um, Ghostbusters Afterlife movie. That's what we did Sunday after. Oh, okay. We watched that movie. Have Good. you seen that one yet? No. No. Okay. No. But I've heard it's good. Right? Yeah, we liked it. Good. We liked it at, uh, a lot. I've seen it a couple times now because I bought it a few weeks ago. Oh, that's right. But this was the first time we actually got to sit down and... Pay attention. Put it on the screen and Lana could watch it. So Cool. I think she liked it. We watched it. Valentine's Day yesterday. 
it's one of it's an annual tradition. Okay. I have to watch Valentine's is Day. Is this is this the uh, is this the documentary on the Valentine's Day massacre? No. Gangland Chicago this in the nineteen twenties. No, this no. is one okay. with um, that has it's like the New Year's Eve movie. They have Valentine's Day now and uh, Mother's Day, so it's very famous actors and actresses, mm -hmm. and somehow their stories kind of gotcha. Anyway, Valentine's Day, I think, was the f one of the first ones to be released, and it was really good. Okay. So it's become my tradition. That's your tradition. And right. I watch Val Ma New Year's Eve on New Year's Eve. New Year's Day. Okay. Whatever. So, anyway, are it's gonna, fun. They, wait till they come out with President's Day. Right. <laughs> <laughs> They'll do one for all the federal holidays, right? Um, no, but really quick before we sure. go. I would like to please invite everyone to come to the chamber today for lunch. Yes. You have a... A we mayor have, candidate we today. We do. Okay. Today and Thursday. All right. So um, today is... I have it right here. Thank you. Today is Kent Bratcher. Mm hmm And on your ballot for mayors, it's going to say Alan Kent Bratcher because right. that's his first name. Right. Um, so, and then Thursday is Terry Hill. Okay. So noon, you can bring your own lunch, come on your lunch hour, listen to what they have to say, talking about what they're going to provide for our city, how they're going to be the next great mayor. Um, but we just wanted an opportunity for people to come. It's casual. We're going to offer pizza and sodas. If you'd like to just grab a slice of pizza, mm -hmm. come on over um, and listen to what they have to say and let them tell you. I mean, you've seen some of these people on city council or county commission or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, and so you've seen the things uh, as an outsider, but now this is your opportunity to come and ask them questions and get to know them on a little more personal level to see if they can, you know, get your vote. Get your vote. That's so. right. March 1st is the election. Yes. Early voting is underway now. Yes. And, uh, but that today at noon? Today at noon is Kent Bratcher. And then? Thursday is Terry Hill. And then on the 23rd yes. is Luis Flores. Yes. And so you've so, already had a couple of them there. Mm -hmm. John Henry was yesterday, and last week was um, Jeff Yahtzee, Thursday. Okay. So we've got two down, three to go. Um, we're really encouraging people to come. Okay. That was oh, the news. It's, Sorry. it's already on. <laughs> okay. Bye, Gene. Bye. <laughs> talking about talking with the one.